me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Air Jordan Retro 11 Metallic Silver Vaz Gray, or what I like to call him, the Michael Jackson 11s, man. Stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite Air Jordan Retro 11. It could be these, could be the breads, the Space Jams, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, take nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking, let's get into these 11s, man. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of leather and also glitter. As you can see on this mud guard, it's all like glitter right here. Usually on 11s, it's like a patent leather, but they switched it up and made it all glitter. And as you can see, when the light hits it the right way, it definitely like shines bright like a diamond. So you know this shoe's gonna go crazy in the summertime. Like when the light hits it right, you can definitely like walk down the street and you're gonna break necks in this shoe. And getting towards the upper of the shoe, it's all leather. And as far as like the quality of the leather, it's okay. Like not the best leather, but not a worse leather. But usually they put like mesh up here. So just for them to switch it up and throw all leather is a pretty nice touch. And getting towards the back of the shoe, you got that jump man. It's like a metallic jump man. It don't have any glitter on there. So that's a decent touch. Getting towards the back of the shoe, you got the two, three and it's stitched in silver back here. Even the breads don't have the stitch and that's pretty crazy. It's painted on with the breads. And getting towards the medial side of the shoe, it's exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. Getting towards the lacing system of the shoe is just your standard Air Jordan Retro 11 lacing. You got white laces, no special tips. And towards the middle right here, you got the Jordan Jumpman, and all white and stitched in white so you barely can see it. One thing to watch out for is if you're gonna be wearing this with jeans, Make sure you wash the jeans like two or three times before putting these on because this white upper is definitely gonna catch all the dyes. So either wear this with like wash jeans or make sure you wear it with like joggers or whatever because if you wear this with some new dye, this is gonna be all gone. As far as the insole goes, the insole is all white and it has the Jumpman painted in white. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, I would suggest going a half size up if you have a fat or a wide foot. If you have a narrow foot, you can definitely go true to size in these shoes. Also, just to let you know, this shoe only came in women's sizing. So like the highest size that it came in is a women's size 12, which equals a men's 10 and a half. I personally wear like an 11, 11 and a half when it comes to my 11s. So I got to take the insole out of this. But just to let you know, if you're on StockX or Gold or whatever, like the sizing will be in women's sizing. So if you get a size 12 in women's, it will equal to a size 10 and a half in men. Definitely watch out for that. These shoes retail at $220. And how I came across my pair was for the, the bigger sizes of the shoe, it kind of sat. So I could have got these anywhere, you know, sneakers app, Foot Locker, Foot Action, whatever. But I recently did a, um, a survey in the Chicagoland area. It was about like an hour, hour and a half. And I got an $150 gift card from doing that survey. And I really wanted to spend that money first before spending my real money. So I just went to my local Nike town in Chicago. I vlogged that place. I put it up above if you want to check it out. But anyways, I went in there. I used my gift card and used my money. And I only paid roughly like 94, 95 bucks out of my pocket to get these. So to pay that price for these shoes is definitely a steal in my opinion. Also, I really wanted these shoes because like you never really seen a Jordan like this. As you can see, it got that nice glittery like sheen to it. Like you rarely see that on shoes nowadays. And you know, I definitely had to add these to the collection. It really reminds me of Michael Jackson. Like if Michael Jackson was alive today, he would definitely have like five, six pairs of these shoes. They would probably like do a commercial or something together, Jordan and Michael Jackson, just to like collab on these shoes. Cause this like screams Michael Jackson. Definitely one of the best like musical artists alive. I definitely had to go ahead and get these. Also, like a lot of people really been like trying to clown like guys going after these shoes. And I don't know why, cause like, you know, guys been wearing like shiny stuff for like years. Like I remember back in the day, people used to wear buck 50 hats. They used to have like rhinestones on the like front of them or whatever. 
people used to wear like Pelly Pelly coats. So some of the Pelly Pelly coats had rhinestones on them. So I don't know why people just really hating. And then the people just forget about Robin's jeans. Like them had rhinestones all on the butt. Come on, man. Like I personally never really had no like Robin's jeans. I, that wasn't my style. I didn't really like those, but like people literally had rhinestones on their butt for the Robin's jeans. And now people gonna clown people for wearing a glittery 11. Man, y'all gotta stop it, man. People just be trying to attack whatever, but I personally like this shoe. I'm definitely gonna rock this shoe. And if you want this shoe and are on the fence about like, hey, I don't wanna look like a girl, I don't wanna be girly, forget that, man. Rock what you want. If you like this shoe, cop it, man. Like, once again, people was wearing Robin's jeans for a good two, three years before that fad went out. So in the good words of the great rapper Lil Flip, if you see it and want it, buy it. Go on, cop what you like, man. Now, without further ado, here's an on-foot look of the Air Jordan Retro 11 Metallic Silver Edition. I'm number one. Yeah. They say I ain't Liverpool. They say I ain't America. I say some hard shit, so they say I ain't spiritual. They act like they know God better than me. I know God a lot. I used to pump crack up the street. Come on. Allow you walk by. Clap and run through your backyard. Let the Mac off. Tear half of your back off. This is my block, my spot. I ain't here. I'm a south side nigga to the bone. Get that clear. Hey, yo, pull that back, man. Hey, yo, play that again, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm number one. 50. Yeah. They say I ain't lyrical, they say I ain't a miracle I say some hard shit, so they say I ain't spiritual They act like they know God better than me I know God a lot, I used to pump crack up the street Come on. Allow you walk by, clap and run through your backyard Let the Mac off, tear half of your back off This is my block, my spot, I am here I'm a south side nigga to the bone, get that clear Now I got a better hustle, so I'm getting better bread Buy my bitches better shit, so they give me better head You think about getting down with me, yeah you better kid Where the fuck you gon' get a job, you a pretty kid Felon, it's back to crack selling Nigga be caught telling the shell cracked the melon I told you I blow, now you see it to believe it My head gassed up, man, I'm so conceited Nigga, you ain't never gonna see me in the hood Motherfuck that shit, nigga, I'm too good Run tell niggas fit these bougie Don't buy CDs and don't go see his movies He don't act like he used to in juvie He was on that medication, man, that nigga did loony Can it be? I've been away too long I'm been away too long I've been away, man. Did I leave your mind when I was gone? Did you forget me? It's not my thing to also, just to let you know it comes with this sign. It basically tells you that, like, over time, as you keep wearing the shoe, um, the glitter part is definitely going to rub off. And that's to be expected. Like, you know, when they had the mirror foams, like, they kind of gave you the same warning. The mirror foams won't be mirror forever. Eventually, as you just wear them, it's going to wear off. So it's gonna be the same thing with these Glitter 11. Also, as far as the box goes, um, they switched it up on the box, it's white and silver. Here's the box tag if you wanna get a little, another look at that. As far as the paper go, it's all white with two, three, and silver. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Air Jordan Retro 11s. It could be these, it could be the Concords, could be the breads, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.